Hi guys, welcome to 2020. Happy New Year. A whole new year on our channel, Day by Day Vlogs. I'm so excited to start this new year. Last year, 2019, I it was my goal to share with you all about how important it is to love yourself, be yourself, do you. I firmly believe that the love that you have for yourself is the most important love that you will ever, ever have in this whole entire world. And without that love for yourself, you can't move on to the next step. And the next step is what 2020 is going to be about on our channel. 2020, I am going to concentrate all my efforts on the next step, the next stage. And I want to bring you guys along with us. We are done with the fear and the stress and the haters. We are done with all of it. This year, 2020, is going to be the year of living your own authentic life. And I am so excited about that. This year, we're going to take every leap of faith that God puts in front of us. This year, when God tells me to do something, I'm gonna listen and we are gonna move on. We're gonna move forward, we're gonna move on, we're gonna really live in this next year and I'm so excited for you guys to be along with us. But before we get started on this year and living and living our own authentic life and sharing it all with you guys, I want to look back. I want to look back and see all the things that we accomplished in, in the last year. Sometimes it's hard to see how far you've come unless you look back. So let's look back together over our last year. Last year started off with me broken physically in the hospital, um, moving to our new farm, and it ended with me broken emotionally with the loss of our beloved Stella. So December has not been a great month for us, but I'm ready to see what January has to bring. Um, so let's take a look back and see all the things that we accomplished last year. Something's going on in the field. Storm's taking off from Gabby. Can you guys see? The closer she gets, the farther he walks. <laughs> poor, poor Gabby. And now he's caught. He's like, fine. I gave Stella's last month's notice and oh, it was nerve wracking, like I was worried because- Why about storms? Yeah, uh, Gabby wants Storm to come home now too. Yeah, like, he's coming home and Stella's coming home. You want them both home? Yeah, they're coming home this weekend. Yeah, like so many things happening and going on. I'm gonna share with you guys soon, but first we need to move our horses and- <sighs> Mom was literally about to cry I was she was talking to the- so literally about to cry like I want our horses with us so badly and I know that there's stuff that have to be done to them especially Stella that only I can do only we Ooh, can do me. but I'm I'm still nervous and I'm afraid and and not any more than I would be with any other change in my life that's just who I am I know we can do it we have our two trainers they're gonna support us and help us it's just scary you guys like it's done though like Stella's coming home and Somebody said we have to turn them upside down, the smooth side, and I believe that the smooth side does go up. Yes, Silly that. Sam. But it takes like two yeah, I can't lift anything yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold, but look at all our stuff. It's getting so full. Like, yeah, I mean, we have a huge barn and that's all the stuff we have, but I mean, it's still something. Think about her size. She's a good size, not too small. Okay. What do you think about her size? I love the size. Tall, like, oh, we're gonna walk her around in our room. So she's 33 inches tall. She's not so super little that we can't, like, that we feel nervous about her size. We love her size. They're looking at each other, I can tell. Stella I know, knows. Kind of That's scary. It's okay. Oh. You're okay, yeah. Willow. Yeah, she's scared of everything here. She's scared of her water bucket. She's scared of her grain bucket. She's scared of an 11 year old girl. So that's the 
not cool? Who left your door open? I didn't leave it open. It was like that much open, but like. Oh my goodness, is right. Lesson learned, you guys. Okay. Well, that's not cool, Stella. Well, we have a horse that knows how to escape. Yeah. People are gonna say, don't let them walk out by themselves because then they think they can. And yeah, that, that, that really did happen, but it's okay. Well, that was a little whirlwind. <laughs> You're good, so You're good, kiddo. You're stronger than you think. And you've walked him, and you've trotted him, and you've cantered him. So if you're walking around the ring and you feel like he's speeding up, what's the worst he's gonna do? That's right, you might break to a trot. Are you afraid of his trot? No, you've ridden his trot forever. <laughs> Not far to fall on this guy, Sophie. What's on your head? It's got black dirt on your head. So, all he did, all he did when he spooked was step sideways, Sophie. You could have stuck that. You remember, he's got good brakes. Mm -hmm. All you have to go is. Oh okay, listen, dude. All you have to go is. This is your chance to find a, a home. Why would you spook? You know, it's because he's half asleep yeah. and something moves behind him like... We were young and we were free and running Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love ordered the red on it and then we changed our mind because we're hunters and I don't know if you're allowed no, to have color. we ordered red stitching though too. And it so actually we has it on. It. We changed it but I guess it came with it on and I, I like it. this is allowed though. I think it's allowed. Because it's not all that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I don't really like stitching here and lying What do you here? think? Do you like I it? Know. I love it. What's up next? Well, Laura, tell me it. <laughs> <laughs> To be with Probably. <laughs> We're at another farm today and we are going on a big long trail ride with our friends and we're riding Pasolfino horses. Hopefully they have one big enough for me because I know they're smaller horses. It's going to be my very first time back in the saddle so I'm excited about that. So 
basically, uh, we went through a little rough patch and my stirrup uh, elastic broke off. I love yeah. my horse. So I'm riding this horse in a trot. Tell me, I love you. Whatever the, the gate is called. Um, with no stirrup. I'm, I've got only one stirrup. And I really learned to just, this, so this is the breed to teach you how to keep your heels down. It's just the most comfortable ride I've ever had in my life. I cantered. We claim up these hills. Like, guys, this is real. This is real. Gabby's oh. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna be bragging. I just wanna brag, I have one stirrup. I think Katie's got the, oh dear, we're like, Guys, this is so much more advanced. Well, I don't know if it matters, but your rope, that, that rope's under your horse's tail. I'm, I'm about to do this, okay, guys. Ice under leaves. So we might, let's not do it. So we are all on the ground now. We had a little bit of um, maneuverability issues. But Kaylee's in the rear. There's a little hill full of ice. That's what happens in Canada. It's their early spring. All right, Kaylee, just go slow, love. Now I've been up that enough times I really know that little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are trapped in the woods. Like, no matter where we go, we're stuck. We have a bunch of people down at the bottom of this big hill. But it's so slick that the horses can't get down safely. So. Look at how brave she is. Team, school and your sister's untrained pony. I almost died. Did you see when I asked him for the canter? He went. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. He he. Whoa. He does not like that. Not like it. But you did a good job, and you put a second on him. <laughs> with them tomorrow. Oh gosh. Oh! <laughs> Just step on it, Stormy. <laughs> Your horse is the worst! Oh my god! Shade of 
I've been running round in circles, chasing my tail and lost my way. Seeking shelter in different corners, never finding a place to stay. Somehow ended up here on the ground. Brother, help me up. I've fallen down. Okay, it's okay, Stella. You're fine, baby. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, love. It's okay, Stella. It's okay. It's okay, my love. It's okay. Okay, so we gotta get it together for her, honey. Chris is coming. Chris is coming, and we're gonna say you goodbye to her right now. I don't know how I could be so dumb. I was happy with our happy little herd. I didn't want her for like a lot of reasons, and I was not getting her. But like, I was not. And no less than four times, God told me, I think you need to bring her home. And I said, no less than four times, no way on earth. And then he took Stella. And I don't even know why, but I knew it was the right thing for us. I knew like, I, I, after Stella left, I was like, well, that's done. Like we are never getting another horse for home. I never wanted a horse for me. I never needed a horse. It was only that Stella needed an owner. And that is why I ended up with Stella. And I didn't want another horse for me. I still don't want a horse for me. I believe there's a higher power and I believe that Sky was meant to be with us. Uh, thank you guys so much for sharing this video with me. Just being able to look back and see all the things that we've done has given me so much motivation and energy and excitement for this new year. Um, I want to know in the comments below, what are you looking forward to in, in this new year? Are you hoping to get a horse? Are you hoping to, to move to a new house? Are you hoping to get a new job, a boyfriend? Accomplish something huge, accomplish something tiny. Whatever it is, set it in your mind. Let's work towards that goal together. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.